G'day everyone and welcome to this week's video and welcome to canola country. This afternoon I've travelled about five or six hours from where I live to the Upper Hunter and I'm outside Corindai in New South Wales and I've come up here this afternoon to try and capture some images of this beautiful canola crop. These contrasting yellow flowers are striking in this environment here across the plains. I'm outside a canola crop here this afternoon and I've found myself a composition here after searching all day. Believe it or not, I've been on the road for about five or six hours today searching for compositions from here right up to Gunnedah and back and I've finally come back here this afternoon and settled on this composition here. We've got a little bit of light here this afternoon. I'm hoping that it'll take on a little bit of colour as we go towards sunrise. Unfortunately, we're shooting canola. Because it's so high, you really need to be elevated so you can look down upon it. Otherwise, you're looking straight across the canola. I've tried several techniques this afternoon to get myself up higher that I'm not hot, really happy with. So I'm gonna have to just settle with putting my tripod up as high as I can possibly get it. I might even have to raise the center column, which I'm not really happy about because it can introduce a little bit of blur into the images. So I'm gonna to have to be really careful of that. But this beautiful crop here this afternoon with the sunset in the background, I think is gonna make for a really interesting composition. I've set up my first composition for the day and to try and reach this shed because it's right out in the middle of this canola field. I'm using the 100 to 400 GM lens. You might have seen my latest video where I shot waterfalls at telephoto. If I haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to it up above. But today, the 100 to 400 has been able to reach right out across these paddocks and capture this shed in the background. I really like the character of the old shed. It's starting to get a bit of a lean on it and it looks like it's seen better days but the field of beautiful yellow canola in the foreground and then what I hope will be a nice colourful sky in the background will, I think will make for a really interesting composition. I deliberately using the 100 to 400 because I don't want to encroach onto the other side of the fence onto the farmer's property. I've seen a lot of stuff on in social media lately where a lot of Instagrammers or selfie takers getting within the canola crops just to try and grab a shot and don't do it. It's one of the worst things you could possibly do. It introduces diseases. It risks spreading the disease from crop to crop. These farmers have done it tough enough as it is with the drought over the last couple of years. The last thing you want to do is introduce more troubles for them. So I'm staying on this side of the fence and just shooting from here, but really happy with this composition. Just got to wait for the light now to appear. Just going to take one shot here. I'm going to zoom right in tight at 400 mil on the, to, onto the shed and just try and keep a, quite a bit of the canola in the foreground. Just doing this manually, focusing on the shed. Currently I'm down to about a 40th of a second at F9, but we've got some really stunning side light now on the shed itself and the canola. It looks really, really nice, really nice soft conditions here. I'm facing a little bit of the landscape, landscape photographer's curse at the moment. We've had beautiful high cloud all afternoon and it was one of the reasons I travelled five or six hours to get here because I thought a high cloud afternoon, some nice colour in the sky and a canola field with a nice subject piece in the middle would look really great in an image. And unfortunately things don't always go to plan. I've got a beautiful high cloud sky but unfortunately now as we're moving closer and closer to sunset I've just got a little bit of heavy dark cloud on the horizon. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that cloud that's on the horizon doesn't block out any of that beautiful light after sunset. But my thoughts are that it might actually happen. I've, I'm glad I've already got a couple of shots here at the canola field, but I'm gonna hang around now and just wait. The sun's gone in behind that cloud, so the light's gone completely flat. So I'm just gonna wait now and just settle in on my composition and then see if we get some beautiful light later on. One of the reasons that I actually came here as well today is that we've got some really dramatic weather coming right across from Central Australia right across the East Coast in the next couple of weeks. There's a talk of up to a 50 to 100 mil of rain again and it's going to continue on for about a week or so so I really wanted to get out this afternoon and try and 
do this vlog and capture this image before that front arrives. Strangely enough, it's always on the east coast. We get usually get these really unusual skies before we get a change and it looks like we're going to have that again this afternoon. Well, well, well. Within half an hour we've gone from some really beautiful soft light across the canola field to absolutely flat as a tack, nothing now. Just flat grey skies, which is really disappointing, but there's not a lot I can do about it. Um, I'm just going to have to wait it out now and see if I can get some colour after sunset, but right up until sunset I'm not hopeful. There's a quite a thicker band of cloud there that's just muting out the sun and it's a real shame half an hour ago the light across the field was just fantastic and I think it's a good tip for anyone who's always try and get in and shoot while the light's there work with the light and um, try and capture it while it's available because it it's really fleeting it can disappear really quickly nonetheless it's still just nice to be out here in this beautiful field this afternoon shooting but fingers crossed now hopefully we'll get some light towards sunset but I'm not hopeful. Decided to relax. This is the first time I've had a chance to stop all day. Grab a beer and uh, wait and see what happens. It is zero alcohol for anyone that's wondering. I uh, won't be drinking and driving. But um, yeah, really disappointing. But nothing I can do about it. I've actually got plans to go to another canola field in a couple of weeks time so unfortunately if this one doesn't work out today you might be seeing part two shortly. Well unfortunately sunset's been and gone and so far we've still got no light so I'm going to call this one today I'm calling myself beaten. The lights beat me today I had everything working in my favour but just no light and uh, that's the way it goes there's not a lot I can do about it. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog now and hopefully you'll see me shortly. It'll be two weeks in the future at another canola field and hopefully we can finish this vlog off. Well, as you've no doubt gathered, I was unable to finish this video off. The rain over the last five weeks on the east coast of Australia has created some horrendous rainfall and flooding. As a result of the rainfall, there's flooding right out in the west of New South Wales where the canola grows. So it made it impossible to get out and finalise this vlog. It was disappointing, but as landscape photographers, that's what we deal with. We don't always get epic skies or perfect conditions, and that was the case this time. I do have a couple of images that I was able to capture on the day that I'll put up at the end of this video, along with some images from a few years ago taken at Merriwall when I was up there shooting canola in better conditions. That ends this week's video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to go down below, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully I'll be around shooting some more landscapes soon. I hope you'll join me and I'll see you then.